So, hello everybody, this is Valkyrian, and I am going to play some Muso Stars. Hopefully I'll play through the whole uh, story campaign. Uh, maybe not all three stories, but uh, I'll pick a side, play through it, give some commentary about what the game is, what it plays like, some of the mechanics, and whatnot. So, anyway, uh, let's begin. <laughs> gonna play a new game and I'm gonna play on beginner the easiest setting for several reasons Okay, so that was the opening. Uh, so Tamaki is a little orange red girl. She is was told by her mother to summon heroes to save the world or something like that. Yeah, it's really basic. So I haven't decided which character I want to use. Thinking Yukimura. Hayabusa, maybe William. Um, I haven't played Neo yet, so I'm a little hesitant to play William, and I played him a bit in another, uh, another save I have. I didn't really like the way he played, he's really slow, and I don't know. He hits hard, but that's about it. Hayabusa is a monster. I think I'm going to go with Yukimura because... I don't. I haven't played uh, Samurai Warriors very much. Like, yeah, I think I played a bit of four. Actually, I'm gonna go with Rio. Fuck it, we're going with Rio, guys. So different characters have different openings, and they're on different uh, sides of the story. There's three different sides or openings to the story, basically. And I assume they all converge together later. この世界は泉の奇跡の力によって繁栄してきた。もともとここは作物の一つも実らないほど荒れ果てていたらしい。歴代の王が三種の神器で泉の力を操り、世界中の祠に恵みを行き渡らせることで人が暮らせるようになった
諦めかけた俺たちにオバウエは古い言い伝えを教えてくれた泉が力を失い世が滅びに向かいし時異界の英雄折りたたん英雄祠ここに斧が力を与え泉を再びよみがえらせん英雄を導きし者大観の義を経て王となり世に大いなる繁栄をもたらさん泉に残された最後の力を使ってあなたたちはこの世界に呼ばれたまあ実際に儀式をしたのはいとこの玉木だけどな異界の英雄はこの世界に対して多大な影響力を持っているだからその力を祠と大地に分け与えてほしいんだ泉と祠の間で水脈を通じて正しく力が循環するようになれば泉もよみがえるはずそれがオバウエの見立てだずうずうしい頼みなのは百も承知だだがどうか世界を救うのに手を貸してほしいそして俺と一緒に戦ってくれやれやれうんああえっああうんいやくっむむむねえいやおおすまない。わかった。うん。そうだな。うん。うん。え？あ。Opening is a bit different from the others. The other、uh, characters have a full blown stage as their first op、uh, opening, and this one is just a conversation. So, I wasn't expecting that. And she starts off with support characters. Also, Dixie. Opena is there's a DLC for him, so he b u y the game early. Yeah, if you bought the game day one, day one version, it has open a code, it's in the box. Let's do this far away. I know! Ah! Yeah! そうだおお、頼むやるわよ So, for this first stage, I'll try to explain some of the mechanics of it and show off what's going on and then probably not talk too much after that 儀式をやりたいが、式たちが邪魔だな急いで撃退しよう Standard so,、uh, gameplay なんか綺麗なところだね。滅びかけてるとは思えない。
いやこの地は英雄の思念で変化したんだ誰かの元の世界がこんな景色なんだろう英雄はこの世界に大きな影響力を持つ荒廃した大地変えてしまうほどに精鋭体の名にかけてお前を止めてみせるそこをのけ She has to. I guess she has like random nimble chances of her not having like a blast effect or whatever. So that's definitely different. And one of the cool things about this game is there really is a lot of variety in what the characters do. Because they are all from different games. だがそのためには玉木と戦わねばならないあいつはそんなやつじゃなかったはずだ、oh, 非常に勝負 A lot to be desired visually in a lot of places そこのにはあなた方を阻む理由があるどうかお引きくださいそのミュートやらも説明せずによく立ち塞がるなら倒すまでだあなたは本当に家族と戦ってまで王になりたいのそうじゃなきゃ死んだ父上が悲しむ王になるのは父上にできる唯一の方法だよしこの勢いで死ぬうまくいったみたいゲームプレイ父上様に誇らを奪われるわけにはいきません There are some different things, so the first is this, like, party mode, I guess you can call it. Um, activate the yes, item screen, every 100 seconds, get bonus time added, so it's not too much. So it's not too much. So it's not too much. The cool thing about this mode is that you unlock that while it's active. The whole one, like I am. So. As you may have noticed, the little star with the number next to it near my health and Miso Gage, so that is. That is your grade level. The higher it is, the more damage you do. And uh, named enemies will have a grade level. So if you're at the same level, then you do like the most, most normal damage. If you're above it, then you do a lot of damage. If you're below, then you do very little damage. So one of the key points of the game is to raise your brave level while progressing your level so you can take out named enemies. So Lubo isn't a special enemy really in this game. He's not like in the Dynasty Warriors games where, where he would be like way more powerful than any of the that. Just a normal guy. He's strong, but he's a normal guy. So these bases all have a different attack. Uh, some are just equal to level, whatever. There's morality system. Um, yeah. So when you beat enemies, uh, named enemies, you get 
items and uh, experience points. Experience points from the future. Yeah. And you can get um, support characters and support characters, characters you have to And they are playable as well. <laughs> Whoever the character is in your first slot in the menu, that's your character. And everyone else that you choose will be your support character. And they all have different support abilities. Right? You just press R1, and you can push the corresponding button, whatever effect you So, fighting Oka from. Um, She's a really annoying character to fight, guys. fight uh, against, I should say. She activates this little barrier here. She's undamageable while she's like that. As you can see, it lasts a while. Tamaki, <laughs> And so you can actually choose your support characters to control for a short amount of time. How you do that is you just press the D-pad whichever direction they're assigned to, and you'll switch that character. You can actually switch to all four support characters. And we have to reconnect. You don't actually have to use all of but you did it just to demonstrate. Uh, when you do, every button you press, your character, other characters use like the corresponding version of the いや、俺は。お母様の裏の腕は次の王は私だと出たはずです。一生懸命。お母様は。お母様は。そんな方ではありません。説明にさま。考え直してください。お前だ。たまき。必ず。Uh, and I should say, you get uh, different attacks every five levels, so I think at level 5 you get your next normal attack, and then you get your next charge attack, and so on and so forth, until level 20, and then you get all, that's when all of your attacks are unlocked. And after that, it's just, um, I will level up game. <laughs> Character will get stronger with different stats and whatnot. And I'll go into that once this stage is over, and you can actually see it.
俺が相手になろう行くぞお前が王を目指すとは面白いこともあるものだだがそうはさせぬ何考えているお前は玉木につくものだとバカに私には私の考えだだがそれはお前や玉木を王にすることではない全部を晴らすつもりはないってことか<笑>君に主義とはお前らしいな儀式ができるなみんなありがとう<音声>ありがとな。それでええそうだむむむそうですパーティーズのキャラクターレーションシップ Like their affinity towards each other, and certain characters like each other more than others, and they have like special、uh, effects when they team up. I think you're about to see the hub. hub. This isn't the hub. Lady is like the mother of two of the main story characters. The other characters that you just saw the blue furry guy, which is the side I'm aligned to, the little red girl who was like the one who summoned everybody, and the last guy, which was the gray tall guy, furry guy. And I believe she's the mother of the girl and the gray guy. And the blue guy that's on my side is the cousin. I believe, or the other guys, I'm not sure. <laughs> But yeah, this is the hub.、Um, you can run around, you can talk to NPCs. You'll get some dialogue. Sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's just like expanding the story about what the current situation is.、Um, but yeah, it's mostly just to see the characters that you unlock and what they do. And as you. Raise your affinity levels with them, you can see them do different things. So they'll like be in the hot spring or playing volleyball or something. And this guy right here in front of me is the mission NPC? Mission teleport NPC, I should call him. He'll teleport you to an area like way over there where the entrance is on the other side. And over there you can get character missions. So like defeat 100 enemies in like 30 seconds or something like that. And once you do that, you get、uh, extra bonuses. <laughs> yeah, so there's like a bar, a little slot machine, because this character is here.、Um, because they pull stuff from other games or the other world, which is right there,、uh, some of the things they bring over are like the bar and some other like, conveniences. I'll show you the hot spring, the onsen, in a second. Yeah, so 
so this is the hot spring. It's traditional Japanese style hot spring. And it has like a uh, arcade machine over there. This is the hot spring entrance. Uh, one of the big promotions for this game was all the characters in the hot springs. It was like all the girls, and on the other side of the poster was all the guys. So, like, once your affinity level goes up, you'll see characters in the hot spring, and they'll be like interacting or talking to each other. But yeah, it's pretty fan servicey for the guys or girls, whichever one you prefer. <laughs> Even have like massage chairs, which I think is hilarious. Uh, a lot of these NPCs don't really say anything important, so... Yeah, your other characters will just be, like, in this <sighs> hub as well. So these are your character cards. Um, character cards are pretty interesting. Instead of having weapons where you add effects or get, like... Yeah, add effects or whatnot, you can... You add them to your card and you equip the card. And to get effects, you need to get resources, the item drops. And that's how you make the effect and add it to your card. So if you like collect one or five or however many of certain items, and you can make it. And it's things like element resistance, uh, if you're going to take like a fatal hit, you gain a little life, or things like that. You can like, capture a base faster. It's like standard stuff. But nothing too overpowered, which I think is interesting. This is where you choose your character. I'm gonna play with Rio for maybe stages, just so I can get like a higher level character. And then I'll switch to maybe this girl. Just go and like I said, Ohana is an extra character, so he doesn't really have any story moments. Not yet, anyway. But yeah, you can see some characters like practicing over here. Once you unlock more, you'll see like story characters. Right now it's just an NPC, you'll see people playing volleyball. This guy is your level up NPC, so you can raise the levels of your other characters to whatever your highest level character is. But it costs money, and it's pretty expensive. This guy. Yeah. And this is where the main story characters are. They hang out here. And you'll get like some Ooh. extra story beats <sighs> and whatnot. Eh. 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 I'm kind of skipping through this because it's the same for everybody in the beginning. What, like some of these characters say, so it's not important. So this guy will give you missions for the characters you unlock. You just have to accept. <laughs> so missions, like I said, will be things like defeat 100 enemies, take 100 bases, uh, use a team of attack, something. Most of them are pretty easy, like don't even really have to pay attention to the requirements because you'll eventually do them. What I find. Ah. Oh. Anastan. Oh. Tanami. Wakata. あ、あ、あ。あの。なんだって。はい。さて。よし。あの。おお、よし。あの。so many character pop up. Ano! Ano! Jeez. Arigato! Okay. So now I can explain that. 
So the character icons are character stages. If you beat the stage, you'll get a story beat and you'll unlock that character. Yeah. So the first time I played through this opening, not this particular opening with a different character, I only got like two or three character uh, choices at first. Then beat those, beat a story stage, and more will pop up. Then I had another one where a ton of characters popped up instantly, and in this one a ton popped up instantly. So, let's just explain the map a little bit. These like little crystallized flames or pillars are story missions. And there's also red ones at some point. Like normal story missions are uh, uh, yellow. Then they're red for some and like a little bit later of the game. I'm not sure what the difference is exactly. I think the red one is just like a major story point. It's like a point of no return, maybe. Uh, so some of the other icons. This is just a base capture mission. Like the main goal is just to capture the bases. This one is like the monster hunt. Uh, it will just have like bigger, the bigger monsters in it because the bigger monsters drop certain items. Uh, little gold bag is. A uh, little item bag is for items, obviously. There's gold, which is the one right over here. You beat it, you get extra gold. You get extra drops for gold. Uh, these are special missions. Uh, uh, some of them are really annoying. Like uh, Some of them have, like, don't get hit. You get hit once you die. But everything else dies in one hit as well. And you can get, like, lots of items from it. But they're a little annoying to play. Uh, and, and yes, she just gave me a gift. So as you move around, you'll get gifts or like a, a certain pop-up will show up and you can get like a, an item or money. And then there's others that are like time. That's what the little timer is. So this is the timer. Uh, I'll do this one. So this icon is a card, meaning I can get uh, extra cards for my character. And character cards are your equivalent of like weapons, basically. But because this is the opening, they don't have any good effects. So I'm just going to equip one and go in. Uh, and you press triangle on the menu, you can change the music. And as you unlock characters, you unlock different music. That's where it just removes the tooltip. So there's like three or four versions of every song, which is cool. Shouri no Megami, Tira Rio, Iku wa? Tadashimi nasha? And so. It's worth saying that uh, side missions do not have story beat. They are just working up, uh, getting items, uh, things like that. There will be NPCs sometimes. Not NPCs, but the main character. But, yeah. There's no story beat. playing on easy. Um, the game isn't like the standard info game that you can Like higher level attack, you get 
immediately trigger. But in this game, there is a lot of really quickly timed missions, like things that need your attention very quickly. And so the game was a little boring to play. So I'm pretty lukewarm. And a couple other same character that you're fighting against. But for other times, it's just like, yeah, 30 seconds. Okay, so See them like walk around you. That's really uh, and I should say, as you do character missions, you'll unlock different cards. So, say I do Rio's. Uh, familiarity mission, uh, character mission. It'll unlock like B level cards for her. I, I'm pretty sure it's B level. So, I have a B-level card with her now, and the effect of this card will add flame attacks to it. And just accept the next one. <laughs> so, let's unlock some characters. things about this game it has safe states. Not safe states, I should say that. Uh, <laughs> uh, it has safe slots. Didn't remember what the options menu is, because it doesn't just say options as quick. Go through a few states. A few things to get the options. So, let's go. I like this girl. She's from Kagoro, I believe. Deception 2. Or Deception 2, kind of, I don't remember how the name goes, but I think it's cool that this is the first time she's been rendered outside of the PlayStation 1, so, I believe. Unless she's like a next oh. character. 
頼む And the stages that you use to unlock characters is slightly different depending on which character you're starting. So, yeah, like the card said, I have fire effects now. Yeah, like I said, this game doesn't have the best performance, but I'm not sure how it is on the DS. Because I'm pretty sure this obviously can render a lot better on screen. I haven't heard anything about the version. I'm not even sure about it. It doesn't seem like I bought it. Yokaru. <laughs> Zellion in this game is kind of a monster. He's really, really strong. Kind of can't believe really it. It's pretty, pretty good. この世界は私が守る。私は負けない。いいぞ。行け。お気に入りだね。いいよ、世界。やるでいいだ。この世界は私が守る。子供じゃない。それ。私は負けない。この世界は私が守る。子供じゃない。それ。私は負けない。この世界は私が守る。子供じゃない。それ
先に勢いがなくなった。あの高台を確保しないか罠を仕掛ければ敵の勢いをそげるはずだ見事に罠を扱っているな一体どこで覚えたんだよかろう育ての母が教えてくれた。人間の魂を捧げる術を母親がそれは何というかすごい話だな<笑>うまくいったか。Kind of have to go all the way around to get back up to where the excellence. これでいいもう敵は丸裸あとは彼だけ。侵入者は排除する。So yeah, they give you a lot of missions that are like do this and then do that, and they're not difficult. Have to prioritize them. It's a little bit annoying. This is sometimes not good. いい度胸してるぜ勇者に任せな勇者も加担した次はこうはいかねえからな敵将打ち取ったりってね敵はもう引き出しの道は使えないまだまだ。ここで焦っては敵の思うツボだよしやったな楽しみましょうじゃあ見物させてもらうよねじ伏せちゃえいいぞ行けどっちへ入社よろしく私は負けない激圧要素もっと激しく予案しなきゃ踊ってるみたいねこの世界は私が守るありがたく。二方のものなく、王家が相手だ。一緒だ。
晴らしいご活躍ですな次はどこへ行くのどの敵を狩るの？ミレニアさん。ええ。あ,あ。そう。ちょっといいかああ<笑>
Let's do... Let's get this guy. I think his name's Edward or Davis. Davis. David? I don't know. I don't remember his name. He's from, like, uh, the game made kind of for ladies here in Japan, but he's really, really strong. His uh, support ability almost one-shots people. Pretty crazy. Oh, I forgot. This mission is so annoying. ここが民が行方不明になったっていう森。まあ、確かに不気味だね。ありがとうございます。民の捜索中に自分も迷ってしまいました。進んでも進んでも同じ場所に戻ってしまいました。you have to ask for this guy throughout the map, but like, it's like scared and monsters show up. So it's like one of those missions you can't really complete at your own pace. Not completely. Oh, yeah, and the new effect for Rio, the new part of the game, was uh, love. So enemies will be charged. あの、すごい。びっくりした。どうすればいいのよし。敵を買って。もしかして、じゃあ、ゆうの仕業かな。敵将、
どうかお助けください<笑>ありがとうございますもう二度と出られないと思っていましたこいつらどこから<笑>こいつら手ごわい誰か助けてくれないかな今すぐここから去るんだ<笑>すぐには効かないか美しいお嬢さん少しだけ君の力を貸して<笑>勇敢なお嬢さん少し術を強めてみるかな稼ぎを頼めるかい俺はダリウスこの森に住んでいる留守の間に怖い思いをさせてすまなかったね今やつらに暗示をかけているんだが彼らには。俺の術が効きにくいらしい確かに敵の力が弱まってるみたいあの人結構すごいのかもあなたはさっき何もないところから出てきたよねその術で味方を安全な場所へ移せないそれは難しいね敵の強い意志に阻まれているのかここでは少しの距離しか移動できないんださあお別れだよよかったうまくいったようだねくそなんだこの森は凶暴な化け物どもめどこへ行ったお前たちなぜこんな怪しいところにいるさては化け物の仲間か火を使うつもりかな森を焼かれたらタイに連れて逃げられなくなるこれは。鬼の仮面の出番かお嬢さんたちまた手伝ってくれるかな。うまくいったみたい。そいつを捕まえてくれ。俺が感じをかける。俺の目を見るんだ。さあ、もといた場所に火をつけなさい。
待て森に火をつけろよ何の味方の陣地に火をつけてんだ敵は大混乱のようだねそろそろお一人いただくとしようてめえよくもやってくれたなこの森はこの世界での安住の地なんだそれを燃やされては困るからねに挑もうってかいい度胸してるぜせめてよねそのかもは何だああこれは鬼の一族に伝わるためよ俺の力を増幅させてくれるさらに激しくフィナーレだしだ次はこうはいかねえからなディオにお任せ騒がしい連中はようやく帰ってくれたね君たちの協力のおかげださあお嬢さん帰り道はエスコートしようエスコートかいいね今度リュルに行ってみよっかねえうん、はあ、おお<笑>そうだねねえ Okay, so that's gonna do it for part one. Check back in for part two. I'm gonna unlock some more characters, do some story missions, and hopefully enjoy this game a little bit more. Alright, thanks for watching.